Hi guys. All right. I am so excited to let you guys know I will be on vacation next week. I'm actually leaving tomorrow, um, which is Sunday, July 7th. So you guys will see this video as part of the Mod Squad Challenge. And I don't know why I didn't think about it before, but it is time for strawberries. So let's make a cute card using the strawberries and the basket. Um, this set is multi-step berries. You can see I wrote down my color choices. Um, but it has strawberries, it has the leaves, the flowers, you have blueberries, you have raspberries. Um, so very, very cute set. What I also like about this set is the sentiments. Thanks very much. Enjoy simple pleasures, sweet lives, sweet thoughts of you, sweet birthday wishes. There's a the up here. So sweet of you, fruits of summer. And then of course the multi-step basket, which you guys have seen me use a few times already. So I thought, wouldn't it be cute to have this basket kind of tipped over on the side, like using the smaller basket? and having the strawberries roll out. Um, so let's try that. I do have my Misty out, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna move it aside, because I think these are pretty easy to stamp out. So we're gonna start with our basket. Let me get my stamping block out. I hope everybody's having a wonderful summer vacation. I'm really excited, I'm taking the kids to Williamsburg we have not been on vacation in a very very long time and the last time we went to Williamsburg actually there's some sad memories attached to it it's when my dad um, his cancer had spread and so uh, he basically had a, a, a stroke from the cancer and um, we had to come home early from vacation so it'll be nice to hopefully enjoy vacation and not have to rush home all right, so I'm actually gonna use the larger basket and I'm going to just, maybe we'll tilt it this way. This way, you know, so it looks like that it kind of is overflowing with berries. So, do we want the berries first? Let's mask off, let's do a couple berries first and mask them off. See, now I'm going backwards here. Strawberry stamps, I find are a little difficult. I really looked high and low for these. Um, I love them. Let's see here. Cherry cobbler. Just getting my color choices here. I want to make sure I have all the right ones. So I used... Lawn Fawn Lobster, Stampin' Up's Real Bit Red, and Cherry Cobbler. So we'll try those out. Let's do... Aha, uh -huh, I do have some masks. Look at that. See, I saved my masks. There is a fly in here. Interrupting my crafting. Ugh! Summer. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, let's start with number one. A little block out here. Layer number one. And my notes say, where are my notes? Okay, the order is Lawn Fawn and then Stampin' Up. Okay, so Lawn Fawn Lobster. It's a bright red. And again, you can mix whatever inks you have and... Start with this one over here. And there are some smaller ones that we can do as well. Might as well put that on the back side. So I'm going to stamp all of layer one pretty quickly here. Find my masks. Oops. All right, 
and we're going to stamp a couple more. So that's layer number one. Now we're going to go in with layer number two. And for layer number two, I used Stampin' Up's Real Red. masks off. with um, Cherry Cobbler. Actually, let me see how dark this Alta New Ruby Red is. So this is Altenew's Ruby Red before the Cherry Cobbler. That really gives the strawberry a lot of dimension. Wow, that really looks cool. Okay, and then we want to put our masks back on real quick. One more, which is the really dark Stampin' Up! Cherry Cobbler. biggest strawberry
Okay, if that doesn't look like real strawberries. Ah, oh, I got ink on it. Oh, well, we're going to have to work around that. All right, let me move the red inks out of the way. Clean up my stamps and my fingers quick. This is where wet wipes come in handy. I'm going to work on the basket now before I work on any of the green. Okay. So for the basket, just put my masks away and I need those. We're going to mask off these strawberries that are on the end. Okay, and I want to put the basket kind of hanging off the edge here like it spilt over. basket is basically three layers so we are going to use some just check my color choices here okay so for our first layer we're going to use Stampin Up Crumb Cake and we're going to just stamp the basket an angle here. Oops, off. How to frame Nance? Okay, so that's layer one of our basket. Layer two, which we are going to do in soft suede. Checking to make sure I have ink everywhere. And I want to line up this circle and this notch on the basket. Make sure everything is lined up straight with that. Okay, layer number two is done. All right, and then the most final layer is the most detailed layer. We're going to do that in the darkest brown ink, which is Early Espresso, also from Stampin' Up. And I'm looking through the stamp again at where the bread to the basket would be that holding in the handle there and that's what I'm lining up. I feel like I moved at the last minute on that one. For the reveal, I did move. Eh, it's not too horrible. A little too high, but that's okay. Not awful. Okay, so now we have the basket done. Don't need to do anything else with that. Um, I do want to add a little bit of greenery with some um, of the strawberry leaves, I guess you would call them. 
So we do have some stems and things like that. I'm just going to use some Altenew Green Inks Tangled Leaf for this one. I'm just going to kind of have that one poking out here. We have a second layer to this leaf. It's a three layer leaf. We have forest glades. little leaf with one final third detail layer which we will do in evergreen a couple of the strawberry stems so again layer one I'm just gonna leave all of these out And finally, layer three. I didn't get a chance to take the kids' strawberry picking this year. I wonder if it's too late. All right, we have some other leaves here. I'm just kind of sprinkle in. I wonder if we're gonna do this leaf here. So I'll just put this little guy in the background there. I'm like debating overdoing it here, so I think maybe I should leave it alone. Let me pull my masks off here and see how we're doing. It's not too bad. I think I can add a little green to this little guy down here. Um, 
me that's it. I want to cut this down, add the sentiment. I got red all over everything. I'm going to show you how I fix that. All right, so what do I have this cut down to? All right, so it's already cut down the five by three and three quarters. You could cut it down smaller if you wanted to cut that end off. I probably will cut it down just a smidgen. I'm going to cut it down to three and a half by that's a quarter of an inch. So four and three quarters. Just cut a little smidgen off here. So it's a little smaller than I normally do, but I want to show you how I put this in a cute little card as well. For the rest of the red marks, what I do is try to get them out with a mono eraser. And again, this mono sand eraser will take out the majority of them. It's not going to be 100% perfect. You don't want to, like, dig all your paper out. It just exfoliates the top layer. Okay, so that actually doesn't look too bad like that. And then if it's really bad, I just take a white jelly roll pen and color over it and then just kind of take my finger and dab it. And what it does is it camouflages that mistake. Okay. And then the last thing I want to do is put a sentiment on here and then I'll show you guys how I put this cute card together. Um, let's see. I like thanks very much. Let's use that one. And I think it would be too cliche to use the red ink. So I'm going to go total opposite here. I'm not going to use red or green. I'm going to use some blue ink. I'm hoping I can stamp this once and it will be fine because I'm not using my Misty. very much okay now I want to put this together as a cute little card so hold on a second I forgot to grab my card stock so I'm gonna go get that real quick and show you what we're gonna do to put this together I'll be right back okay guys I'm back I have a couple extra things I want to use here on the card and put it together for you guys I I know I often just do card panels and don't show you guys how I put them together but I wanted to show you guys this one so I have my card base made up standard a2 size card base we have this cute um, Americana type paper that I got out of my stash it's got you know red and blue kind of checkered marks on it so we're gonna make that our background soon as I can get my glue out. And this is fairly thin, kind of cheapy scrapbook paper, so I want to make sure I get all the way to the edges with that. Okay, pretty good. And then since I cut my panel down, I'm, I have this piece of blue, which I believe is from Stampin' Up, um, but it's a thicker cardstock, more heavy duty. I cut that down to five by three and three quarters, so it should frame off our stamped panel pretty nicely. Oh, before I do that, ooh, don't stick it down yet. I have this um, jute in blue that I wanted to 
wanted to wrap it around. Grab some tape. I wanted to wrap that around just the top here to give it a little bit some and something extra. panel down. You can put a little foam tape behind there if you wanted that um, dimension. A little piece of um, what do you call that? Fun foam. Kids fun foam. I'll just stick some scrap pieces of that down. That'll help with the dimension from the um, the lift that it's getting from the ribbon. We'll put some glue on there. Put a little piece in the corner over here. We'll use it all up. We don't want a saggy card. Okay. And then, of course, if you wanted to put a, a bow in there, you could. All right, so now we're going to put this on our card panel. But before we do, I wanted to use some of this burlap. Um, this burlap came from this set here, uh, Die Cuts with a View Burlap Mat Stack. It comes in these little baggies. You just rip one out of the little baggie. And then I want to cut this down to five and a quarter by four. And I do want to just kind of fray these edges. So I'm just going to pull a couple pieces off of each side. So we have this kind of frayed burlap. Now, depending on how straight you cut it, you may have to fray down a little further than you want, which is okay. Once you get going, it's pretty easy. Okay. Alright, and then I want to attach my card to this so it just sets it off a little more before we apply it there. So, again, just going to put some glue on my card base. Stick it down on the burlap. So it just peeks through there. And then we want to put some glue on that. Okay. 
And this glue dries pretty quickly, so. So have a little bit of dimension. It's a fun layered car. It's a cute thank you card, you know, if you were invited to a summer picnic or something. Thanks very much. And you have this cute layered basket and what looks like these strawberries tumbling out of there. And I am going to use this in the July Mod Squad challenge. And my challenge is, since it's summer, since it's July, Let's do a red, white, and blue challenge. So submit your card on the Mod Squad Challenge blog. Red, white, and blue should be your primary colors. So as you can see, I have my red strawberries. I have the white paper, the blue, the blue and the ribbon, the red, white, and blue background. So red, white, and blue challenge. That's the July Mod Squad Challenge. Enter over at modsquadchallenge.com and you could win a chance at $25 from Kitchen kitchen sink stamps. So there you go, guys. Once again, if you have any questions, don't forget to post them down below, any comments as well. If you like this video, I always appreciate your thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed, click on the little bubble that's going to pop up down below here, and then you can click the bell and you will get a notification every time I post a new video. Um, once again, the stamp sets that we used were the layered stamps from kitchen sink stamps which are the multi-step berries, strawberries, cute sentiments, raspberries, blueberries, great summertime set. And we also use the multi-step basket set also from Kitchen Sink Stamps. So I always appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.